Hey, what's up guys? I'm Puzzlesaurus here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do some modding in Spark IV. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Browse right here. Uh, depending on your Spark IV, it's going to take a bit to load. It also, t um, if you click on it, oh, never mind, it loaded quick. Okay, so um, so you want to install some vehicles. Uh, you're going to go down using, in this side column, you're going to go down to PC Models and then CD Images right here. And this is basically where you go if you want to install uh, weapons, vehicles, or player props, or anything really that has to do with the um, the look of your uh, player or car in this in GTA 4. Um, so I'm just going to click vehicles here. So you're going to double click it, and it's going to open up all the vehicles. So if you've noticed, there's two admirals. We're just going to use this as an example. There's a WTD and a WFT. Um, the WTD is the texture as you can see right here and the WFT is the model frag what you want to do is since when you're in here you're going to want to go to import and since I have a special folder on my desktop called GTA IV PC mods you are going to click on that and so we're going to just put in some vehicles so you're going to click vehicles and basically let's just put in the Aston Martin Basically, you're going to highlight these two. You, if you notice, there's a WFT and a WTD, and you're going to click Open. I don't want to replace any cars right now because I'm in a clan and it'll mess me up, so I really can't right now. But basically, you're going to click Open, and these two, the writing, instead of black writing, they're going to turn blue, and that'll indicate that you've edited them. Okay, so say it's a police car, and you want to change the livery. Let's find the police car. They basically, if you can see right here, it's a CVPI sign 4. There's also CVPI sign 1, 2, and 3. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be, uh, or it doesn't necessarily uh, have to say CVPI. Um, say it's a Patriot, it's going to have like Patriot sign 4 or something like that. I, I'm not too sure, but this this is Crown Victoria. That's why it um, has a CVPI. So basically, you're going to want to go up to import texture right here. Um, first, you're going to want to highlight the uh, sign 4 or 1 or 2 or 3. And then you're going to click import texture. And then since I have a special folder, I'm going to go to my textures. Just no CVPI. And then you're going to double click the texture that you want. I'm not going to do it once again since I'm in a clan. I don't want to mess anything up. Um, and then that's going to be good. Uh, you're going to want to do all four signs. So there's going to be CVPI sign 1, 2, and 3. If you can see here, those are all the signs you're going to want. So basically when that's done, and you've done all four of those, you're going to want to click Save and Close. There you go. And if you notice right here, it's going to be blue highlighted or not highlighted. Um, blues, there's going to be blue writing instead of black. That means you um, edited it, it. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to save. You're going to save it. It's going to say the archive has been saved. Okay. You're going to exit out of that screen. You're going to click save one last time. Archive has been saved. Okay and you connect it out of that. Huh. Okay, um, then that's basically it. Uh, then you want to open up your file browser and I want to open up GTA and I'm in my main directory of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, you're going to want to go to common data and you're going to want to go down until you see vehicles right here. It's an IDE file. Basically, you're going to get all this coding and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty confusing. Um, I wouldn't uh, condone messing anything up, so don't mess with any of this set. 
um, cause it could, uh, it's gonna really mess you up. So, you're gonna find the vehicle you edited, so I edited FBI, if you can see right here. And if you notice right here, it says plus livery. So inside of game, there's a couple things called liveries. This is where the police sign 1, 2, 3, and 4 come back into place. Basically, when you get a livery, it's going to enable you to change skins from not only having one skin, but you can have four different different skins, um, which you don't have to add too many cars in for each skin, which is really nice. So you're going to want to just type in plus livery right after this where all of this stuff is. The FBI is not going to have anything here. It's just going to have a little dash like this right there. It's, and you're going to want to delete that, and you're going to want to add, type in just plus, and then livery, and that's it. Then you're going to, and then it's going to ask you to save, but since I never did anything, it didn't ask me to, and then you're good. Um, so guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was the best I could do, and I basically got the point across in six minutes. So, um, have a nice day, guys, and uh, see you.